Hello fellow Expanse lovers! Welcome to another video, or another project rather, uh, from the Expanse universe. And this time it's the main one. This time it will be uh, Rocinante. So, uh, the purpose of this project is to make Rocinante as it was featured in the very last episode, uh, meaning with all the upgrades, including the carbon silicon, silicate uh, lace plating, and with as many features as possible. So, without further ado, I guess, let's go straight into Creo. And here we are. So, this is the 3D model. It's uh, more or less final. Uh, there is one thing that I am still uh, thinking about and that's basically removing all those antennas and sensors and make them separate because I know for a fact that they will be very easily breakable so that way the you know if that happens uh, they could be easily replaced so this is something I will most likely do but that's the only thing other than that the model is ready and is actually printing right now and uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, this is this is the the Rocinante as it featured in the very last episode. Uh, so it has landing legs, uh, it has railgun, it has six PDC chambers. Uh, here the torpedo tubes here and here. Uh, I have to say that I was playing with the idea to make them openable and to s actually store a torpedo but I eventually decided against that because I don't think that would be, you know, worth it. Okay, and I mentioned uh, that the ship will have some features and it certainly does. So, um, first things first. I guess the ship kinda needs to, you know, land. So if we turn it like this, we can extend the landing legs. Um, of course, in real time, uh, or real life, sorry, um, the legs will not move all uh, in sync will have to move them each one by one but I don't have really have a problem with that also they are they are uh, long enough only to uh, go aligned with the edge of the driving cone uh, that's uh, on purpose um, uh, because the overall length of, of the model will be 50 centimeters I assume that it won't be uh, lightweight Thus, I don't want the entire weight of the model to rest solely on the legs. So basically, it will rest on the cone and the legs. And so this was, you know, little compromise from my side. Okay, now that the ship uh, is, you know, uh, on the ground, um, it has to, you know, open the airlock and extend the air bridge, and that we can find here. Here we have the airlock and here we have the air bridge. And they can depart. And then once again close it and fly away. Okay, so that was it, and uh, most likely the main feature that I'm really proud of is the PDCs, uh, because here the PDCs are actually retractable, so if we open the pod, it will reveal the PDC, and if we extend it, we can also... Oh, sorry. We can also extend the PDCs like that. And as you can see, PDCs are 
all year. Uh, once again, in real life, uh, all will have to be open by hand. Yeah, I only made a synchronization via mechanism here. Anyway, um, I was afraid that the cannon itself would have to be glued together because of how small it is, but fortunately I came up with a way uh, that it doesn't need any glue and it uh, can go together like a kit and still it works very well. Okay. Uh, we will come. Uh, we will go uh, into further details, but for now um, we can. Just close it. All right. So that was kind of the model interaction. Uh, sorry, introduction, and now how it actually uh, comes together. Actually. One more thing before I go into that, and, and that's, as you can see here, I have a hole, and that's because I also designed a stand. If you want to, you know, pose it like this. And the stand is nothing, you know, um, special. It has the name and the legitimate salvage, so, yeah. I don't know, I personally will not use it. I uh, am doing it only because I guess that uh, people who will print it uh, as well may uh, wanna do it like that. I personally will not. I will stand it like this. Okay, in any case, now I will hide everything and we start with this first group. And, as you can see, uh, everything is designed in the same manner as I do all the models. So everything is uh, going together via the pins and locks. So here we have a classic 10x10 10 10 pin, uh, which I use in most of my projects. And to it comes other piece. and other piece and other piece will click into it. Of course I didn't have it here but uh, before this piece is attached obviously the, the cover here has to be inserted in order to slide properly. And the sides. The sides have opening for the PDC modules and uh, as you can see here this, this surface uh, has zero tolerance to the, uh, to the PDC module but here we have one millimeter uh, offset and here we have a chamfer that's to uh, basically fix the module in place but still, uh, that's uh, also designed in a way so that if anything breaks uh, in the PDC, the entire model uh, could be uh, detached and uh, disassembled in case uh, of whatever inside uh, being broken. So it's uh, replaceable, it's fixable. Okay. Now we have the second group, uh, which is here, and it is done in uh, basically the same way. Yeah, we have a main part, which basically serves as a skeleton, uh, with our pins already inserted, and then we put individual models to the pins. Yeah, here we have the PDC uh, module. Well, no, no, here we actually attach PDC module, this is the part that will, I call it PDC module, whatever. Yeah, here's the part with the airlock, 
and the second PDC module. And now uh, I have a holes through and we insert the pins and put these types of pieces once again to the pins. And then we add pins here to those holes and attach the rest of the thrusters. And last but not least here we will insert this very big pin and that will connect the other group which is number three and which is the reactor and driving cone uh, group. And this one is rather straightforward. We have this big piece. Once again we will insert the pins and then the second part and the main cone and also all these tubes and then we have to insert, insert all the uh, superstructure and um, the armor and uh, to uh, these pieces we will attach the legs themselves and the legs are relatively straightforward uh, it's basically a parallelogram as you can see yeah it doesn't look uh, exactly as it did in the show but that's uh, something where I had to sacrifice the accuracy for the function yeah, and it works like that I don't even think I will go uh, individually how to assemble it, it has to be self-evident by now. Okay, so those are the, the, the three main groups. Uh, we will also attach here the entire bridge assembly and the bridge assembly basically is the uh, airlock and the air bridge in it. That's actually uh, one thing in the entire model. As you can see, it's it's here and it works like this. So there are these little knobs inserted into the second segment here and here to you know stop the segments from falling out and these things are the only uh, pieces where i would indeed recommend to use a little bit of glue because they are very small and they they hold in place but uh, on their own true but if you use a little bit more force uh, they can pop up really easily and believe me once they pop up on a carpet you will never find them so here I actually uh, would suggest to use a little bit of glue, yeah, a drop of glue. Okay, and then the cover, and as I said, that, that has to be inserted here before this piece is attached. And now we have the PDCs. Yeah all are inserted here and we will take a look at the PDCs in more details so the entire subassembly of the PDC uh, comes together once again without a single glue and it works like this we have this base and to this base we will add this piece it's light as you can see here and into this piece we will insert this piece once again it slides inside and then everything will slide together of course it cannot go out 
because we will have for, 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 yeah, we will have discover so it cannot go out and now we will attach the cannon itself we put it here and insert a pin that will hold it hold it together and when we put it down we can insert both covers and insert this filler which holds them in place and serves as a pivot and then they can rotate around it when it comes to the cannon itself it's main part is the gun itself like that and we have one magazine inserted on the on the shaft the second one and then the back piece which will slide onto it and then with this small pin we will attach everything together and it holds pretty nice and as i said no glue is required okay so this is the PDC module and the entire module is then inserted inside the main body okay so I guess uh, when it comes to the model introduction that should be all I really hope that you liked it and um, that I caught your interest Alright, so in the next video we will obviously print everything out and assemble it and I will try to do a thorough um, uh, review of the model and show uh, all its features in action. Alright, so that's all for now. I have a very nice day and we'll see each other in the next part. Bye bye!